Hello everyone, we're back again. I've made some changes to the drawings. You won't be able to see them, but they'll be there when you go to the file. So front wheel housing, that's what's next. We need to do the front wheel housing for our front wheel, obviously. Uh, scrolling through <laughs> my jokes. I think they get worse the longer I uh, sit here and make videos. Um, and I'm sure you're all nodding your heads or grimacing. Probably both. Uh, all right. I've got a hole. It's a through hole at six millimeters. It's here. Again, it doesn't have dimensions of where it is. I'm going to do them in the video. Just trust that I put them into the drawings. Uh, it looks like there's an extrusion cut that's 17.5 and 74.5 back. So let's go create sketch on this profile here. I'm going to just basically go project with the P button, select that body like so, and use the line tool and put a line down. Click D for dimension and select the point to back. 74.5, click enter. I'm going to go point. Oops, not that's that's project. I need point. Point, select here, dimension now. Half of 21 is 10.5 as I worked it out before. And then my drawing here doesn't say I'm gonna go 39 divided by 2, which is 19.5. Let's go with 19.5. And then I'm going to go uh, stop sketch. That's all I need to do, really, because I just need to be able to select this as its own piece of geometry. I don't really care about any of this stuff. I just need this bit and the point, which I have. Extrude back 17.5. Obviously, it needs to be negative. Click Enter. Go back to that sketch, revisualize it by showing it. Go hole, select the hole. My previous settings were all saved from the last time, so I can just click OK. Job done. Pop goes the weasel. It was easy peasy, less than three minutes. That's pretty good. All right, I will update this drawing, and then you can have a go at creating the front wheel housing too. Good luck. 